Hi, how's everyone doing? All right, my name is Nick, and I'm going to demonstrate something I like to call the head swap. Now, I couldn't tell you if this is a good or bad thing to know how to do, but I will say use it at your own risk. You wouldn't want to head swap the wrong person and get the shit kicked out of you. So, use your discretion, okay? Let's get started. As you can see, we got Beard Man here. We're going to take Beard Man, we're going to put him on this guy, Stay Puffed, right here, okay? So first things first, we want to crop Beard Man out of, you know, his face out of here. So let's duplicate this layer, it's on a locked layer, let's duplicate this. Magic Wand Tool, Tolerance is at 10, notice Tolerance, 10 should do it. Holding down Shift here to select other regions. And really all I want is this stuff here, you know? So uh, let's inverse this. Select. Inverse. Now, I'm inversing this because I didn't select this region. I selected the region out here. So inversing selects the region in here. Copy, Control c Paste. And let's see what we got. Beautiful. That's all we need. Looks a little dirty. That's all we need. I don't think Beard Man minds. All right, we're stay puff here. All right, on call. Let's drag him in here. Beard man can hide in the corner here. We got his duplicate in here. Let's sh transform his face down a bit. Now, what's important to make these photos work, ladies and gentlemen, is notice that he's looking in the same direction, you know? And the quality of photo, actually this one's a little bit higher quality, um, as far as file size and resolution than this one. Um, so it can be a little bit difficult when you have something that's a higher res photo versus a, a lower res image, web image. This is a web image here, so it's going to be a little bit lower res. Um, what you want to do also is make sure his head's proportionate um, because it's not going to look right. So what I, well, <clears throat> what you should do is um, match the size of the eyes to help scale it. Now let's lower the opacity here. All right, let's see how that works. For now, let's uh, clean up this here. It was a quick cleanup with the eraser. Looking good. Okay, uh, let's duplicate this layer. I duplicate just in case I have something to fall back on, you know. I wish uh, I wish life had you know a duplicate layer like maybe an undo button, um, but it doesn't. But fortunately, Photoshop does. Now let's adjust the color of his face a little bit. Go to Image Adjustments, Color Balance. That's got like an orangish orangish hue, orangish hue on him or something. I, I don't know how you would. Say that. There we are. Also, remember you could edit this other photo as well. Let's duplicate that. Let's lower the desaturation. Okay, that's 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 too much. But we can get it to kind of match his face. It'll be easier to match because I mean these guys, you know, bronze their bodies up with this, you know, spray on tan stuff. So. There we go. This is going to be a little bit easier to match. Okay. Let's go back to this face and adjust the curves. Bring out some mid-tones here. Let's see. We kind of get a kind of get a glare on his face. That's good. We, we want that. You know, and, and with with the curve editor, you just kind of experiment. You know, this is the darks, this is the mids, this is the highs. So you just kind of just kind of mess with it, see what see what works, see what looks good. And we're gonna have to desaturate his face a little bit more to kind of get it. There we go. Oh yeah, look at look at how much look at how look at that. 
Now, if you sucked at Photoshop, you'd say, well, this is complete, you know? This is finished. It's not finished, man. We still got some more stuff we have to do here. We, you know, some icing on the cake. Okay? So for starters, we need to clean up around the head here. Well, how do we do that? Go to this layer here, this duplicate layer that we made earlier. Let's go into the liquify. Filter and liquify. What are we doing in Liquify? What does Liquify do? You do a lot of things with liquif Liquify. We're going to push, we're going to kind of smush his head in here. Now, this works good because the background is, is kind of blurred out a bit, you know? So, if we smush things in like this, no one's going to know. You're going to know. Nobody else is going to know. I mean, I'll probably know. Look at that, huh? So then we pop them in there. See, now we got to clean up this, which is not a problem. Let's duplicate the layer for boo-boos. And let's clean up those white edges, huh? doesn't need to be perfect because uh, there is a lot of, like, bright light in, in, in this photo. So highlights, I don't think, would would ruin would, would, would ruin the how would you say illusion now what we're gonna do is uh, add a little bit more detail let's duplicate this layer go to filter other high pass and um, yeah this should do it that's fine and then with the high pass we'll probably put on overlay lower it down a little bit here. You can kind of see what what, what the pass does. It, it adds more definition into his face. You see that? And what we can do now taking a look at this, it's not bad. It, it, um, the only thing is his face isn't shiny like Stay Puffs. I mean, I think for just as a beginner's sake, we'll adjust the uh, we'll adjust the curves a little bit more. What we'll do is, you know, I got a better idea. What we'll do is we'll duplicate this layer. Let's bump up the curves. Maybe we can get some uh, highlight, you know, get some highlights in his face. And let's erase what we don't want. Kind of gives you the idea, you know, the concept of doing it, like how to do it. So, as a final touch, let's, uh, we need to still degrade the photo a little bit more. So let's add a filter and a sharpen. Smart sharpen. Uh, it's on lens blur. Let's increase this. As you can see, you see how it's adding like a grain? That's what we want. It's good. Let's mess with that. All right. All right, we got beard man, looking uh, looking puff, huh? So now what we need to do is we need to go to file. I'm gonna save for web. Uh, 80's good. Let's save that to desktop. We'll call it beard man. And uh, then we upload it on on uh, Facebook and uh, we tag him in it and so hopefully you know all of his friends and you know whatnot see the photo before he gets home from let's say work or something and you know everybody gets a, a, a good laugh so I hope you enjoyed this and um, check back more for more tutorials take care